it's her base. It's your girl Britt Brack on live with the Breeze Hawk. And child, I'm at my rich friend's house. <laughs> Can you see the red wine? Rich status. But anyways, we're here to talk about Kobe Bryant. Once again, this man can't rest in peace. He hasn't even been buried yet. What are you talking about, Brie? Lisa Leslie decided to go on Gail King's show, CBS in the morning. And baby, it was a mess. So before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Gail King has become polarizing since her infamous R. Kelly interview. I see a lot of black men are saying there's this agenda. I want to put it out there. I don't feel there's an agenda against you guys. Until we speak up about the issues going on in our own community, we can't talk about outside influences but I'm gonna stay on topic. Gail King decided to interview Lisa Leslie. For those who don't know, she is a WNBA star. She is a sportscaster reporter when she talks about the NBA, the, NBA, the WNBA, etc., etc. She was also Kobe Bryant's friend. They played together, he taught her a couple moves. He even helped some of the women in the WNBA to get their pay increase. Instead of Gail focusing on the legacy of Kobe Bryant, she decided to bring up allegations. I saw the tweet where she said she felt it was good journalism. I honestly believe it was distasteful, and here's why. The rape allegation happened in 2003. 2003. It's been over a decade. Not once did she decide to do an interview, ask him, speak to him, confront him, anything, especially during the epitome of the Me Too movement. She had plenty of opportunities to speak on his rape allegations before he won the Oscar. I feel this is distasteful, but I want to let y'all listen in on what everybody is upset about. Let's take a listen. In the WNBA, it's been said that his legacy is complicated because of sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, we go get that girl or tell her or send her this. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Kobe, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. And I'm not saying things didn't happen. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair And that's possible. And I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. And I'm not saying things didn't happen. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time. It, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to it went to trial. Yeah, but the case it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was dismissed. And I think that that's how we should leave it. It is interesting to me how deeply his is Alarming, right? I cannot believe it. Like, Gail, shout out to Lisa Leslie. She is such a pro. Whoever her PR person is, amazing. She said it best. If you didn't ask him then, why are you bringing it up now? I feel like they're being salacious. I feel like she's trying to get another moment. I'm happy you got a pay raise, Gail, because we all know women in media barely make pennies on a dollar. But at the expense of a man who we haven't even had a funeral for, how dare you? How do you think his wife feels, his sisters, his family? You don't think about that, do you? Because you're all for the, oh, I'm trying to get what's trending. Between you and Oprah, Girl, I stand for y'all, but when you lay next to her at night, maybe you should ask her, was it distasteful? I don't know. I don't see you bringing up star Audie Murphy and his allegations and anybody else. I don't think it's a white or black thing. I think it's a disgusting thing. I think it's a trend thing because Kobe is the trend. Instead of you focusing on the peace and the positivity of what his wife might think, you decided to go hardcore. Y'all 
aren't a respected news source. You're not TMZ, but I digress. Either way, what are your thoughts on this? Do you feel Kobe should be dragged through the mud? Do you feel we should discuss his rape allegations? Do you feel we should have asked these things beforehand? Let me know in the comments. 